In this video, I want to go over the saving architecture. It's a little tricky. To start off, I have to explain that every time you save a file in the KDF file, you're saving both the performance and also the preset data in the Kronos. So let me just go into examples to help illustrate what's going on. Um, in the Kronos, I have my initialized poly6. It's CC, UCC0 right there. And when I choose that program bank in the KDF file, I'm choosing both the preset in the Kronos, like the preset slot, and I'm choosing the karma data, the the preset in karma. So if I change some parameters in karma, like let's say that I turn on the, uh, the karma switch and the latch, I have now changed the state of this karma preset. And then if I store it, I've now saved this new karma state in the KDF file. And then I can send that performance to the Kronos and just click OK. And now, it, and now it writes, it wrote that new preset, that new karma preset state in the Kronos itself. So if I were to bypass karma and then change presets in the Kronos, I'll just do an increment and then a decrement. I'll see that the karma on and latch switches are enabled. Now I can undo my bypass. Um, but it gets kind of tricky because I didn't just send the Karma preset to the Kronos. I also sent a Kronos preset to the Kronos. <laughs> so let's say that, um, let's go ahead and turn off the uh, uh, Karma switches. And let's say that this is my timbre in the Kronos right now, just an, an initialized poly6. Now this is my version of an initialized poly6. It's not actually the the standard poly6 sound you get. It it's it's just an initialized synth preset. So let's say I want to change this preset a little bit. Let's uh, just turn up the resonance and turn down the cutoff. So that's my new my new sound, right? This is my new timbre. And now let's um, store the karma data, and we'll send that to the Kronos. And it just wrote the new state into the Kronos. But now when I hit a key we hear the preset as it was before. And again, that's because we didn't just send a Karma preset to the Kronos, we sent both the save state of Karma and a Kronos preset to the Kronos. So there's actually two files that are being saved in the KDF file. One is the Karma performance data, or the Karma data, and the other one is the Kronos preset data, like synth data. You can kind of see like, um, it, it goes into in, in depth in this uh, understanding of KDF file. So you can see that there's the performance bank inside of Karma in the KDF file, which is all the Karma data. But then there's also the P program combi global bank data in Karma in the KDF file. And so that PCG data is saved in the KDF file. So you have to make sure that they're synced up. And to sync them up is actually kind of tricky. So um, right now I do have them synced up because I just sent the performance to the Kronos, which overwrote what was in the Kronos and replaced it with the the PCG and um, and Karma data. And now let's say that I um, let's say that I change the timbre in the Kronos. Again, I'll just give it some resonance. Turn down the cutoff. So that's my new timbre. The way I get this timbre into the KDF file is I get the performance and then I merge with the KDF file. 
and let's just uh, hit OK. And now the PCG data is in Karma. And let's say that I now put my switches on and then I store that. So now it sounds like this. Let's play lower notes. And I'll go ahead and stop Karma. And I'll store it again, because just to get that little asterisk to go away. Now if I send this, it'll overwrite um, the Kronos with everything that we have in Karma, which actually didn't happen. Hmm, looks like it did. It did rewrite my timbre, so something went wrong. Oh, you know, this is actually a really good example. So what went wrong was I needed to save the PCG data, or the, in this case, the program in, in the program Compi Global data, and I didn't do that before merging it into the, um, the Karma data. So again, I'll turn on my resonance. I won't turn it up quite so high this time. And I'll turn down my cutoff. Let's turn the, the resonance more. So that's now my new timbre. And this is my karma data. Or my karma save state or whatever. So now I have to write in the Kronos. Yes, I would like to save it. And click over here and get the performance merge. Yes. And now I'll store it here. Yes. And now I'll send to the Kronos where I will write everything. And it worked this time. So now if I were to bypass Karma and then increment, oh, actually, let me exit from the edit screen. There we go. So now I just incremented and decremented. So this is the Kronos, um, just as if I were to choose this uh, preset. And if I hit a key, here it sounds exactly correct. So that means that Karma has the correct PCG data, and they're all synced up. Again, review the literature that comes with the Karma software. It helps a ton. It, its explanation will be more thorough than mine, and it goes into a few different examples. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment, and I'll try to help you out the best I can. So thank you for this. Bye-bye.